You live here? No, what? From the moment Cobb County police made contact with Brady Allen, they suspected he was suffering a mental health crisis. Whose house is this? Am I losing him? Uh, he's completely out of it. He has no clue where he's at or anything right now. Arrested in May 2021 for criminal trespassing, a misdemeanor. I must have did a lot of damage to my brain. I'm sorry, sir. Brady tells the officers he was just released from the hospital. Go ahead and put your hands on your back. Body camera video shows the 41-year-old had multiple bottles of antipsychotic medicine with him at the time. When he arrived at the Cobb County Detention Center, the arresting officer told jail staff Brady needed medical help, writing in this screening document that Brady's hearing voices, seeing visions, admitted to using meth and heroin within the past 72 hours, injured his head, had flu-like symptoms, and appeared confused and disoriented. Security camera video shows this jail medic spoke with Brady just 2 minutes 47 seconds, his blood pressure, temperature, and heart rate never checked. The medic claims he doesn't remember seeing Brady's screening document listing all of his potential medical issues. Do you not think that it would have been important to look at the sheet that would have described exactly what was wrong with him? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. But you definitely didn't look at this sheet. I don't recall looking at that sheet. Okay. The investigator doesn't believe him. The, the, the problem is going to be this, okay? I watched video of you for hours. They're going to see you looking at a piece of paper and the salad board. So what piece of paper were you looking at at that time? I honestly don't recall. Throughout the night, Brady appears more agitated and then starts pulling out his own hair. Look at how much hair Brady had when he entered the cell. Now look at him hours later. It's all over his cell floor. They knew that this man had a problem. He was in pain, and it was obvious, and they ignored it. Karen and Scott Allen are Brady's parents. They say their son did suffer from a substance abuse problem. He'd been arrested before. But this time, he was on his way to recovery when he relapsed. Two weeks before his arrest, Brady posted this on Facebook, writing, this is how I feel after a half a decade of recovery. If I can do it, anyone can. Because Brady told us if I ever go back to that jail again, they're going to kill me. They kill people in that jail. Why would Brady say that? Since 2021, eight people detained at the jail have died. None of its staff ever charged with the crime. No! The jail's medical staff never took Brady to the infirmary, never sent him to the hospital. The only time staff entered his cell is when Brady broke the fire alarm. Brady tried to escape. Deputies tackled him, shooting him multiple times with a pepper ball gun, twice with a taser. Within minutes, he stopped breathing. Go blue intake. Go blue. Cause of death, according to the medical examiner, sudden death associated with acute methamphetamine intoxication and law enforcement subdual. As a father, looking at that video, what was that like? It was hell. Um, it's very difficult to watch your son go through uh, a nightmare. Craig Owens is the Cobb County Sheriff responsible for operating the jail. He watched the video of Brady in his cell. When you look at that, do you think he's having a mental health crisis? Not being a 100% trained in medical thing, I can't answer that correctly. I mean, I can't remember ever seeing someone pull out their hair and being okay mentally. Yeah, but again, I didn't see him pull out his hair. We just saw the hair on the ground, so I, I didn't see that. You believe that the medical care he received was adequate? Right. I, as again, I stated earlier, I am not a trained medical uh, professional. I can only go off what the people we put in those places and pay to do that job tell us. But you also have eyes and ears and you know what's in that internal affairs investigation and what medical staff did and did not do. Yeah, and that's the reason I say we make changes after things occur that we didn't know that, you know, in the beginning. Attorney Timothy Gardner represents Brady's parents. He believes deputies and the medical staff share the blame. It's their job to work together. And so we don't believe that the policies that were in place were followed. 
you picked up a man on the street for trespassing. And in less than 24 hours, he's dead in your jail. Something's wrong with the system and it needs to be fixed.